Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video, we are going to be reviewing the ColourPop Just a Tint Lip Crayons. I am so excited for today's video because I have been waiting for a formula like this to come out from ColourPop and it's finally here and I'm so excited for this video today. I do have all 12 shades here to swatch and review for you guys, but I do want to mention that all of these were sent to me from ColourPop. That's not going to sway my opinion. This video is not sponsored. I just wanted to review these products for you guys and you guys have been requesting for it. So I do want to thank ColourPop for sending these over my way. I definitely would have not been able to upload this video as early as it is going up, considering for me, because usually with my ColourPop videos, they do go up a lot later than other people, just because I live in New Zealand. So I do want to mention that right at the beginning, this video is not sponsored, but these were gifted to me. So with that being said, let's just jump straight into my review. So to get started with the review, let's start off with some product info, just because this is a completely new formula, we need to know the details. So these are the Just A Tint lip crayons. They come in a packaging like this. The whole tube is monochromatic, suiting the shade of the lip tint inside. I also wanna mention like a really minor thing, but I do like how the shade names are in this like sticker bubble thing now. Because with the Lux Lip Sticks, they come in a very thin sticker and they can sometimes peel off. Some of the Lux Lip Sticks don't even have the stickers, so I do like this new kind of upgrade of the labeling. That's a very minor thing, but I can appreciate that. The new lip tints are seven US dollars each, or you can get them in a duo. So there are six duos in total, and they are all after a fruit, which is super cute. The packaging is very similar to the blush and light sticks that were after flowers. And I honestly love the packaging, the whole theme. There's a bunch more, but obviously I can't hold it all in my hand but you can get them in a duo for 12 US dollars so you do save two dollars if you do buy it in a duo like this so the statement for these lipsticks from Colourpop's website it says that it's a comfy hydrating lip tint adds the perfect sheer wash of color to create healthy glowy lips so with that being said let's just jump straight into my review so I do want to mention that I am wearing Z boys on my lips right now because I probably will get asked that in the comments Z boys is the one that comes in the peach duo and I'm just gonna hold these two up just for reference because again there's too many shades to hold up in my hands just right off the bat it feels like a lip balm like a tinted lip balm it's so easy to apply it's creamy but not thick it's comfortable it's hydrating and also the smell. The smell is delicious. I think Kathleen in her video said it smells like guava. It has a very fruity, candy smell and it smells so sweet. I love it so much but I know not everybody is going to be a fan of the fragrance. So if you are very sensitive to scents then just be aware of that that the scent is quite heavy. When you apply it on your lips you can't smell it. All of the lip crayons do smell the same. They don't smell differently accordingly to the duo. But formula wise this probably would have to be my favorite color pop lip formula period it is beating the luxe lipsticks it is beating the ultra glossy lips like this is just what I need for an everyday lip color like it's just hydrating it adds a good wash of color on your lips like these are pretty pigmented I wouldn't say it's a sheer wash it does cover my entire natural lip color I have been wearing the dear Dahlia blooming lip balm a lot recently like that's my go-to everyday lip color I wear it to work with no makeup on I'll wear it with a full face of makeup and I love that but it is very expensive and it was a limited edition product like it has the feeling of a lip balm but it gives you the pigmentation of a lipstick I've worn it for the whole day and obviously it's not gonna last the whole day just because you can tell from the finish that it is not a matte it's not sticking to your lips but it is very easy to reapply you don't need a mirror these shades are very natural you can blot it out as well it's just up my alley these you can wear with a full face of makeup like I am today and it gives you that color that pigmentation that shine as well and when I have no makeup on some of these shades you can wear it alone just bare face and it just gives you the perfect sheen hydration comfort on the lips and it's just what my lips need and I love it and the scent just completes it so I feel like you guys can kind of get the gist of this review I have no complaints like literally I have no complaints there's nothing, that, there's no con. I, I like everything about it. Maybe the only thing is the packaging. I feel like the lid is not as stable. Like I wish there was like a click to it, but there's no click to the lid, but that's the packaging. Formula wise, I can't really say anything bad about it to be honest. So that was just my quick little review. We're now gonna move on to the swatches so you can see what everything looks like on me. And then I will come back and share with you my favorites and my recommendations.
All right, and now that you guys have seen everything, they were all super pretty, am I right? I wanna share with you my favorites. If I had to recommend just individuals, not in duos, the one that I'm gonna wear every single day, my number one spot would have to be Give Me Some More, like small and then my number two spot would have to be z boys it's what i'm wearing right now very natural these are like my layover you know you guys know i'm obsessed with layover i have recommended layover time and time and time again that it's my everyday lip color these are my new layover so give me some more and z boys is definitely the ones that i will be wearing the most if we are speaking duos and my favorite duos i would actually recommend the coconuts about you duo as well which comes with give me some more which is my number one spot and it also comes with with cherry picking which is another beautiful shade as well it's a little bit deeper and darker but not too dark but darker than give me some more but it's a very beautiful shade up my alley so I would highly recommend coconuts about you NZ boys comes in the peach duo I would also recommend this duo as well it comes with rise and shine these shades are also very beautiful as well and just perfect for everyday wear so I would say the coconut and the peach duos are the most like everyday friendly very warm neutral tone but if you do want a pop of color I would recommend the give me a slice which is the watermelon duo and also the cherry and bright I love these for more of a pop of color but they're definitely not like an everyday wear but when I do want a pop of color on my lips I would definitely go for these don't get me wrong I still love the dragon fruit and guava but I feel like these are just a little bit too pink and purpley for me to wear on an everyday you guys know I love more warm tones so yes those were my favorites and my recommendations so that guys is going to wrap up today's video my camera battery is about to die so I'm gonna quickly wrap things up I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review and found it helpful I want to know your thoughts on this new formula as well are you guys loving it or do you disagree with me I would love to hear your opinions just leave them down below give this video a thumbs up if you did find it helpful if you found the review and these swatches helpful seeing it on my skin tone but with that being said that is it for today's video I want to thank you guys so much for watching Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!